Hi everyone, this is Tim Corbley with the KISS Institute for Practical Robotics. Today we're going to be going over some of the different gears that you might have in your kit. So, the first thing we want to do though, is explain to you some of these different pins. So one of the common pins that you'll find in your kits is the axle pins. And so there's actually two different types. And so this first type right here is the frictionless pins. And so what you'll notice about them is that the frictionless pins have a smooth edge on the pin side of it. And so when you plug them in, they spin pretty smoothly. You can actually see that a little bit better with one of these gears on. So you can put it on, spin it, and it spins for a little bit. What's going to be different about the friction pins is that you can kind of see that these have these little ridges along the edge of the pin. And so what these do is they provide a little bit more friction, so that way whenever you put them on something, they don't spin quite as easily. So if I try and spin this, it doesn't spin at all, it only goes with my finger. So the first set of gears that we want to go over is our single beveled gears. And so the single beveled gears line up exactly with the Lego spacing. And so if you take one of these medium gears and you put it on, and then say you took another medium gear and you put it on, you would notice that they line up exactly and you can spin one and it spins the other. And so what you'll notice about these is that the radius of these takes up a certain amount of space on the Legos. And so for these medium ones, they take up two holes of Lego for their radius. So if you put one here, it'll take up two holes here, and this one takes up two holes here, and so they meet right there in the middle. And so that's how they spin. What you will notice is there's some of these other ones. So this one right here is a one hole, and so if you put it on, it needs to be right next to the one that it's going to be spinning. So if I put that back on, and then I put this on. You'll notice that it spins right next to it. And so it's only taking up one Lego hole of space. Our large gears are going to be taking up three Lego holes of space. And so if you put those on and spin them, you'll notice that it's taking up three Lego holes of space on its radius. Now the single bevel gears that are slightly different are these ones that are kind of between the medium ones and the small ones. And so these ones actually only take up one and a half Lego spaces. So if you look at it from above, you'll notice it doesn't meet this other one over here. When you spin it, it doesn't touch it at all. But you can kind of see the gears on the inside there. So the gears line up halfway through that next Lego space right there. And so if you actually put two of them on next to each other, they'll take up three Lego spaces. So you can kind of see it here. There's a space in between, and these take up three Lego spaces. And you'll notice something about these one and a half ones. It's a little bit harder to get the pins out of them once you have them in. So sometimes you'll have to use another piece to push it out just a little bit so you can get a good grasp on it. So the next set of gears that we have is our double beveled ones. So these ones are actually slightly thicker, almost double the thickness of the other ones, as you can see right here. And so these ones, whenever you put them on, will not line up with these single beveled ones. So you spin it, it won't fit right next to it, it won't fit two holes away, It'll just never fit there. And so, if you try and put a double beveled gear on, so say we put this small one on first, and you put another double bevel on, they will line up. But it's only going to be this small one and one of the other sizes. So whenever you look at them, it's taking up three holes of space there, but you'll notice that 
the medium sized double bevel covers most of that next hole. And so whenever you're lining them up, this one's going about one and a quarter to a third, and then this one's going from one and three quarters to two thirds. And so that's why these two line up. It's because if we try and put one of our large ones on, it doesn't line up there. And it doesn't line up there either. And the reason for that is these are taking up not one and a half, not one, not two, something kind of in between. So that's why you can only put these smaller ones on with one of the larger sizes. So if we took that one off, we put this one on next to it, you would notice that the, the smaller one lines up with the bigger one just fine. One thing that you will notice with some of these gears is that if you put them on an angle, you can get different ones to line up. So say we put one of our pins here and we put one of our larger ones on. So we'll notice we're trying to line up probably with this hole right here. So if we take this one and we take, say this one, we can actually get them to meet up just a little bit. You almost have to force it. So these don't really work that well. And so what you have to do is take one of these single bevel ones and line it up with it here on the other side. So see how those line up? You can actually get them to work together. And that's just because of this angle right here it gives you a slightly different distance between the gears. Another example of this, say we put this one on here and one of our larger single bevels. As soon as I get this piece out, you can actually get these two to line up. No, oh, never mind, we can't. See, we can't even get that one to line up. And so what you'll notice is it, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes getting these gears to line up. And you'll generally have to mess with it depending on the angles you're going at and how many you put in a row.